welcome to our show today. My name is Joe Cross. You may know me from the movie Fat, Sick and Nearly Dead and also from RebootWithJoe.com. Today's show is about rebooting for energy. Now, we all know the winter days, they're kind of short and it can be tough to feel energetic when the sun sets early and there's a little bit of a chill in the air. But the good news is it doesn't have to be like this. There are so many ways to avoid those sort of low energy roller coaster pitfalls. Today in the Reboot Kitchen, the wonderful Reboot Kitchen we have here, we have nutrition expert Alex Jamieson. Hi Alex, how are you? Hi Joe, great. Alex is here to tell us some strategies to put a bounce or a spring back in your step for this time of the year. There's a few strategies I use in the winter to keep my energy levels up and even. One is energizing foods, which we'll talk about, but the other ones are avoiding the pitfall foods like sugar and caffeine. Right. Those are going to spike your energy and then make you crash. That's even harder for people to deal with in the winter because we're not getting enough energy from the natural sunlight that we're used to. Not getting that vitamin D. Not getting the vitamin D and we're trying to stay up. We're trying to be as productive as we were in the summer in the winter. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I recommend that people actually go to bed earlier in the winter and get up earlier so that they're awake more with the natural rhythms great of the tip, sun. Great tip, great tip. Yeah. Now, using energy foods like what we're going to show today is really the base. That's the foundation. You have to be giving yourself the nutrition and the minerals that you need to keep your body going. All food is energy, okay? Like everything you eat, even if you want to yeah. talk about junk food, it's energy. When we get into that sort of more plant-based food, yeah. tell me the difference that, in your opinion of the energy down that end of the spectrum as opposed down towards the junk food and the highly processed. Well, the energy that you get from natural plant-based food gives you the basic building blocks to create the hormones, to create all the processes that your body needs to complete during the day, helps you think clearly. Right. The energy that we get from sugar and processed foods and caffeine, that kind of energy is more of a really high level kind of jittery effect. Right. So it's a short term burst kind short -term of Short term burst and then you crash hardcore. Right. Right. So what are you gonna show us today that can help get our energy levels up and constant. So we're gonna use some very specific ingredients that are gonna help keep your energy levels naturally balanced during the winter. We've got some coconut water as our base. Right. Now, coconut water is a tropical food, and normally during the winter I try to eat more local seasonal stuff, but coconut water has all these great electrolytes in it. Right. And it's a warming food. So if you find that you're attracted to hotter, spicier stuff in the winter, try coconut water as well. And the benefit? For our viewers at home about electrolytes, like getting those into the system does what for us? Well, electrolytes are basically salts and your body needs those electrolytes all throughout the body for every single function. It's for brain cells right. to work, it's for messages to go back and Got forth. It. Millions of things per second rely on electrolytes. Right. Cool. We also, of course, need our banana for yep. our substance and a little bit of sweet. Love my bananas. And then. I think blueberries are one of the perfect winter fruits. You know, we kind of have a, a lull in fruits in the winter. There's not a lot to yeah. choose from. Yeah. But you can still use frozen berries from the summer. Cool. If you go to the farmer's market, you can freeze your own. And they have all those great antioxidants in them that are going to keep you healthy through cold and flu season. Right, great. Now, one of my favorites. I love adding cacao nibs. Cacao nibs, yep. And they do have a type of caffeine in them, but it's not the same effect as coffee. It really is the, th the theobromine in cacao that gets your energy up a little bit, but it's not as staticky feeling right, as coffee right, for right, most right. people. Okay. So we'll add a little bit of that. And of course, it doesn't come along with the added sugar that a chocolate bar usually does. It's just the cacao. The cacao nibs easy to find? They really are. You can get them in any health food store. And again, you can buy them online in bulk, usually for a okay. little bit cheaper. Cool. Now I'm gonna add some unsweetened coconut flakes as well. And okay. that's gonna add, besides the electrolytes in the, the coconut water, this is actually gonna add a little bit of protein and that healthy fat. You need to eat it in your diet. You just need the right kind. Exactly. Now finally, this is the gold. The greens. This, these are the greens. You want your energy from your greens. Again, lots of minerals, lots of that up energy from yep. the greens, but again, great fiber. And you've got to keep your digestive system running smoothly yep. if you want to be happy. Oh, oh you bet. And then yep. the today's greens are? It looks like we have a curly kale here. You can use any kale. You could use collards, um, bok choy, 
Napa cabbage, any greens that are available local. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and blend it up. Ready? Okay, yep, ready. Okay, go, fire uh, it up. Go, Breville. I love watching that disappear. Love that. That's like my favorite part of the whole thing is just seeing it all come into one. I love it's it. Like a magic trick. I know. I love it. It's great. <laughs> like that. Uh, no, it's a winner. Yeah. Now I have a six-year-old son. Right. And nobody has more energy than a six-year-old. So this oh, is bet. perfect. Oh, I bet. <laughs> I need these just to keep up with him. <laughs> there you go. Right. Okay. Now look at the colouring in that. Yeah. So what's given that our really dark colour, you think? Is that the nibs? Cacao nibs? It or? could be a combination. I think mainly the blueberries are giving it the yeah, purpley the and yeah. then the green from the kale. So that bottoms up. Great too. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Juice on. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm, it's crunchy too. It's really good. And this is great for kids. Kids will eat their greens yeah. raw yeah. in a smoothie. Yeah, the nibs in that are great. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Maybe don't give the cacao nibs to a six-year-old. No? Probably not a good idea. <laughs> okay, well, we'll have to blend that up a little bit more. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks a lot, Alex, for stopping by the Reboot mm. Kitchen. That's just been fantastic. That's a great tip there for rebooting for energy and just getting those levels up and keeping them constant. All right. Thanks a lot. Yeah. And for more on this and other recipes, you know where to go. Rebootwithjoe.com So we're here in the Reboot Studio and we've turned it into the Reboot Yoga Studio. How exciting is that? I'm here with Kyle and she's from Yoga Vita. Hi Kyle. Hi Joe. How are you? I'm very well. You're ready to show me some moves. Now we're doing an episode all about rebooting for energy. Mm -hmm. Okay. So not only what you put into your body, it's all about what you do with your body. Bodies were built to move. So now i am got to be honest, yoga is not really something that I've spent a lot of time on. So I'm excited because you're an expert and you're going to show me what to do. So you're going to give me three poses to do, right, that are going to boost my energy levels. Energizing, uplifting postures um, that really anyone can do. Okay, cool. Well, let's get started. Okay. So the first one, it's called Urdhva Hastasana in Sanskrit, and it means upward facing hands pose. Very simple. You just reach the arms up and gaze at your hands. You can okay, handle every, that. Anyone can do this at home, right? Okay, I can do that. So, so see if you can bring your feet together. Feet together, right? Yes. Yep. Now. Reach up. Hands together? Hands together. Try to straighten the arms. Okay. Try to relax the shoulders. Yes. Try to pull the ribs in. Press the feet down and feel that the lifting up comes from the pressing down. Good. Yeah, okay. Two breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Perfect. Last one. And then exhale. Let the arms float back down by the sides. Feeling more energy already. Right? Oh, you're, a, you're a genius. <laughs> All right. Okay. Number two. The number two pose. It's a warrior pose. So you already know that it's robust, strong, empowering, strengthening energizing. Basically, you step one foot back, right toes face forward, left toes are in a little, bend this, and then reach up. Okay. You think you can handle I've, it? I've got a photographic memory of your pose there. Perfect. And that front foot forward. This left back foot, foot is great. Back, bend forward, right? Yes. And now take your hands straight forward yep. and now lean back. Lean back like that. Oh, this is excellent. Gaze at the back of your thumbs with ease. Two breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. In. And out. Perfect. Release the hands. Extend the leg. And now we're going to transition right into our next pose. Stay Warrior here. two. Okay. So bend the knee again. Right. And now open your arms and torso to the side. Inhale. Exhale one. In. Exhale two. I'm glad you're Inhale, to extend that, the leg. Yep. Exhale. How's that? I've got lots of energy now. I feel like okay, a juice. Good. You juice, Kyle? Of course. You all do? yoga teachers love juice. They all do? Yes, pretty much. We're on the right path. Yes. Okay, we'll be uh, back with some more tips for rebooting for energy right after this. I want to end today's show like we always do with Joe's top five, our top five tips. And today it's about the foods that can give you more energy, boost it up. If I look at what I've got on the Reboot Workbench today, 
I've got some garlic, some almonds, some spinach, and some oranges. So oranges, great go-to food for energy. Almonds, whenever I fly or go on long road trips, I make sure I've got a bag of almonds handy. These not only are high in protein, they are fabulous at sort of maintaining my sort of hunger levels or cravings. They sort of keep me balanced as I'm going through my trip. Spinach, well, as you know, I love putting these through the juicer. I'm sort of big on spinach, whether it's sauteed, steamed, put into salads. I love my spinach. Broccoli, you know, broccoli I wasn't a big fan of. Now, a broccoli salad, fantastic. Keeps me full, gives me lots of, lots of energy and lots of power. Lastly, garlic. It's like a magic food. It sort of boosts my energy and keeps the immune system strong and keeps those doctors away. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed today's show. As always, if you want to find out more nutrient information, more recipes, you can go to rebootwithjoe.com. But until next time, Joe Cross signing out from the Reboot Kitchen. Juice on. 